power that they deny. Look at what Revelation says about, about the children of God. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives to death. Do you know how the Christian's going to make it into heaven? By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Listen, there is nothing that can take away your sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus Buddha can't get you to heaven. Muhammad can't get you to heaven. You know, there's no religion out there that can get you to heaven but Jesus Christ. Well, you're awful stubborn-minded and obstinate, aren't you? No, I just believe in preaching the truth. There is only one truth, that there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. And if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell in everlasting torment. You see, preachers don't want to preach that anymore because it sounds too bad. It sounds too scary. Well, listen, God's a little scary to the flesh. Well, I'm preaching this morning. I'm preaching to you this morning. Listen, there's still a heaven and there's still a hell. I don't care how many preachers water it down and how many preachers tell you there's different ways to God. There is only one way to Him and that is through Jesus Christ washed in the blood of the Lamb. I don't care how many Janus and Jamborees are out there trying to fake and mimic Christianity. I don't care how many of them wear a cross around their neck. If they aren't washed in the blood of the Lamb, they're not going to make it in. You see, because there's power in the blood of Jesus. There is power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. And that's the only way in. You can't go by any other means. I don't care how good you act. I don't care how many charities you give to. I don't care if you if you're really a nice person. You have to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Well, you sound fanatical, preacher. Well, guess what? They thought Jesus was off his rocker too. They said he's drunk. They said he's filled with demons. But he came preaching the truth. Jesus said, if I would have came in my own name, you would have received me. But when I come preaching the truth, you don't like it. That's why, that's why you can get really big social clubs called churches that have a big machine going on. And you can get thousands of people attending a place where they have a form of godliness, but they deny the blood of Jesus. Because some preachers want to be friendly with other religions. Some preachers want to be seeker friendly and let you know you can live whatever way you want to live as long as you come to church. No, they had to overcome by the blood of the land and the word of their testimony. What's the word of their testimony? The word of their testimony is, is that I overcame through Jesus Christ. I was tempted, but I overcame. I was tried. But I overcame. And the only reason I overcame is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Worthy, we'll sing it in heaven. Worthy is the lamb that was slain. You see, people don't like to preach a bloody gospel. Doesn't sound very nice talking about blood. Because blood's icky and blood's scary. We don't like it in our modern time to describe to people the horror that Jesus experienced on the cross being beaten within an inch of his life and died. See, people don't like to find out that Jesus died for their sins. Do you know why? Because that means that they owe him everything. And people don't like to owe people anything. People don't like to answer to somebody else. But you see, if you don't serve him now, if you don't bow now, there's coming a day. You see, Jesus plays it by grace. 